Hey, welcome to the show, my friends. Do you know what time it is? It's time to learn how to read the clock. And today we're going to learn how to tell time to the nearest hour. All right, so let's go ahead and take a close look at this clock. Do you see the numbers that go all around this clock? There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Those represent hours. For instance, this would be 4 o'clock. We also see these things right here. Those are called hands. This right here is the hour hand, and this is the minute hand. For me, I learned that this is like the man hand because usually men are taller than women, and this is the lady hand. Now, when I was growing up, my mom always taught me to have ladies go first when they go through the door. And so when we learn to tell time, we're going to say the lady is going to go first. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Do you see right now, what is the lady hand pointing at? Four. So right now, this is at four o'clock because this hand is pointing all the way to the top. All right. So let me go ahead and put another problem here for you. What time is it? Yeah, take a look at the lady hand. It's pointing at three. And if this hand is pointing to the top, I want you to say it's something o'clock, all right? So you would say three o'clock, three o'clock. So it's three o'clock. All right, I'm going to put another problem down here. I'm going to put the number eight, and then two dots, and zero, zero. Where do you think I'm going to move the lady hand to? Yeah, I'm going to have it pointing to the 8. So I'm moving it all the way over here. Now remember, this is, when this points to the top, it's something o'clock. So it is 8 o'clock. Oh my goodness, you guys are doing great. Can I give you another challenge one? All right, I'm going to erase this and put in a number. Let's go ahead and put 11. 11 o'clock. How am I going to move those hands? Where do I move the lady hand to? This is the hour hand too, all right? So I move the hour hand or the lady hand all the way. No, oh, I got caught on the eyeball there. I move it all the way to the 11. So remember, if this is to the top, it's something o'clock. So it's 11 o'clock. Now, once in a while, you might see something like this. I'm going to put change this number out for a 12. And so don't get too confused. Take it easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. Where do I need to put that hour hand or the lady hand? At the 12. And now you can't even see it, can you? It's almost underneath the man hand or the minute hand. But that is 12 o'clock. Oh my goodness, you guys are great. Now I'm going to move the hand. I'm going to see if you can tell me what time it is. And I'm not going to say what it is. Let me go ahead and erase this part here. What time do you think that is? Oh, the person in the back there, I heard you, said five o'clock. Very good. Let's give you another problem here. What time is it? Yeah, it's eight o'clock. Yeah, eight o'clock is when I start my class. Hey, I hope you're having a great time there. And I hope you are going to uh, practice your clock telling time your, and that you learned how to tell time to the nearest hour. And I hope you have a very beautiful day today. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.